What it is, what it do, Z double C crew, it's your boy Zaddy Chunk Chunk, and I am back again with another banger for you guys. So, what kind of banger is this? A muck bang! And today I have. Nicole, of course. And today we're doing. KFC! Yes, ZCC family! Today we're doing KFC today, and we're not doing uh, chicken today. We're actually doing some bowls. Well, our original plan was to do two pot pies. I was looking for giant pot pies around the city, nothing I can find. But if you guys are in Houston, you know some places, let me know. So I said, oh, I know KFC serves pot pies, and I never had one. And they only had one in stock. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, Nicole got that, and I have the famous bowl. But let's get a prayer, a thumbnail, and dive in. Father God, I want to thank you for this food that we're about to receive in our body. And I ask that you do please bless this food. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Let's get a thumbnail. Oh, my God. I think something's in my eye or what? Are you okay? Mm-hmm. You want to show that more clear? All right. And then let's dive in. Ah, I felt like there's something in my eye. I got the orange Mountain Dew, lightning Mountain Dew. I think that's what it's called. And I got uh, some fruit punch. And this is our first time trying their fries. How is it? Oh my goodness, so they're pretty good. They're cool. okay. They're okay? Mm. Kind of hard. Definitely not fresh. Mm -mm. We forgot plates. We forgot ketchup. What do you need a plate for though? You have a bowl. Yeah, but I like having a plate to dip my, to put my ketchup on the side. Mm. <laughs> mm. Well, aren't there ketchup packets? No, just hot sauce and honey. Well, should I go get some? No, it's okay. We can go ahead and eat. Nicole's actually really not hungry today. I'm you know how we always hear, I'm starving. I'm not hungry today. You see how she's picking at it? But no, uh, this is Nicole. It's your first time trying to Popeye, isn't it? I think so. Huh? Well, I mean, huh? since maybe I was little, really I mean, little. From KFC, y'all. Oh, yeah. You can bring it back towards you. Guess what Nicole said. Yeah, I'm telling you. But I'm like, yeah, we can get, we can get Popeye. Sure. Don't it got, doesn't it have vegetables in it? <laughs> so you don't like vegetables? Actually, this is really tasting like, like, a, like a soup. I don't know how to explain it. Mm -hmm. You want to try it? No, I'm good. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> So you know how Dalvin said there's only two, right? I mean, there's only one. <laughs> so Dalvin says, you can have the pot pie and I'll get a famous bowl. Now I'm telling you, I'm you. You didn't really want it. Yo, yeah, but I told you. No, now you gotta try this. No. no. Do you want to? No. Doesn't it just taste like, like a soup? Mm-hmm. Tell me for real, Dalvin. Yeah. Yeah. Chicken noodle soup. Isn't that correct? With cross on top. But I told the club, I'm like, hey, we can switch. You can get the uh, baby's ball and I'll get the Popeye. Did I not say that? Uh-huh. It was like, no, 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 I'll stick with the Popeye. Correct? Mm -hmm. Have you had a famous ball? Yeah. That's you know your thing? <clears throat> Why do you drink what I drink? <laughs> Yes, I have had one. They're okay. Um, I'm not huge on having everything in one bowl and mixed up and touching. So. I actually really like the famous bowl. I know. I want to say, well, I, I don't think it was the first time, but when you were in Appleton and mm -hmm. we like tried to move in with each other. Mm -hmm. um, this is when we're happy or lucky trying to make it work. Yeah. Um, Hello, what? we pulled up to KFC and you were like, oh, do you want a famous bowl? I think that was like when I had, first mm. had one after like a long time. Mm. What I was going to say though is, um, how long did you end up living with me? Like a couple weeks maybe or a month. And then we're like, yeah, it wasn't working. And then she left. So we tried, no, because a lot of people say, oh, well, you guys need to try. We tried years. Mm -hmm. It's been years, hasn't it? Oh, it's been a long time. A very long time. Um, 
Okay. I thought that was something else. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. No, we tried a couple <laughs> times, actually. More than and a couple. Oh, it just, you. <laughs> yeah, it just didn't work out. This is the longest time we've actually lived together. We lived together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. I'm smoothing past through it. You know, in the beginning, I think me and Nicole mentioned this, so, but in the beginning, Nicole used to be the very patient one. Now, I end up being the patient one. And I'm the psychopath. I was the psychopath back then, though. No, I'm saying now I'm the psychopath. Yeah, but so what you're saying, like we switched roles. Right. I was the psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm the very patient one. Nicole just doesn't have patience at all. It's true. So now, imagine if we would have met at a time when we both could have been patient. When we were both psychopaths? No. That would have been a very toxic. Yeah, that would have been really bad. But both very patient. Well. I don't know. How did that life Actually, been? I think it would be really good. I think so? Yeah. Do you? I think it would have like, might have actually worked out. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> Sounds bad. Why are you laughing? It's like, cause maybe they actually could have worked out. Mm -hmm. No, it's just, we have too many years of Listen, this stuff. wasn't even a topic though. That wasn't even the topic of this discussion. No. <laughs> But that's the reason I'm kind of getting off because we talked about that topic a lot. But what I wanted to talk about is when is it okay to start feeling comfortable hmm. around your significant other? You know, you want to dump your fries out like that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. You know, and when I say comfortable, like to start doing things that you will be embarrassed to do on a first date, and. I know you guys are gonna be in a conversation where I'm like, if I can't be myself, then I don't wanna be my <laughs> I already know that's what you guys are gonna say. That's exactly what they're gonna say. Listen, I'm not going for you're just acting uh, a fool on the first date. And if you are, that's actually kind of, I know they're gonna come at me. <laughs> oh, you're waiting for I'll let Tom say it all. I'll let Tom say it all. <laughs> I, like, I just feel like that's just super unattractive and professional. Yeah. What do you mean? Like, it's not okay to. Yeah, you could be yourself to an extent. Like, I'm not finna just go crazy and pass gas in my first date. You know? Mm -mm. I'm not finna be, Urgh. anyway, so, <laughs> you have any brothers and sisters? <laughs> you know? Mm-mm. <laughs> um, I feel like it takes some time. Like, you really need to spend, and I'm not talking about like, oh, you see this person two times out of the week. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about like spending weeks with this person. Mm. Well, for me at least, mm. to get fully comfortable with them. For me to like break down it and have like cry about something and an emotional breakdown, or if I'm just upset about something or whatever. Just trusting them with that. And not just even about uh, doing stuff physically, but just uh, opening up to them emotionally about mm -hmm. some things that happen in your life. and. Oh, that takes a while. It takes a while, yeah, because you know you can't just open up right away. Because what if that person just dips out of your life and and has all your information? With this generation, it seems like everybody just dips out real quick. Mm -hmm. You know, it's but, hard to find something genuine nowadays. I really think, me personally, I think so too. I feel like if you if you are if you went through high school already, there's almost typed up. Yeah. I feel like you're, okay, let's say it's 100%. You find your high school sweetheart, I mean, not your high school sweetheart. You find a person after high school, it's cut down to like 40% rally. <laughs> you know? Yeah. What do you think? Because if you don't find your high school sweetheart. <laughs> I feel like because you're just not as active nowadays. Well, and, then, and also I'm talking about naturally meeting. I'm not talking about yeah. DMing somebody on social media. Don't even bring any of that. I, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. 
I'm not a fan. I'm talking about you run across this person and boom, they're your wife a couple years later. That's how, what, how I want to meet my if, m m whatever. Next person I date, it's not going to be over DMs, it's not going to be over Snapchat, it's not going to be over sliding in my DMs. That's what you're saying now. What, no. What if you find the person that's perfect? I don't even reply to those people. All right, so when his profile picture is him with a fire fire outfit, <laughs> holding, holding an axe, and he has them overalls with no shirt under it, and he has his helmet on, and he says, hey, you mind if I chop down your wood? No, I'm not doing that. I'm meeting a person, old school. Imagine, imagine, watch. Somewhere. Watch. Uh, I don't five, want one of those stories. Oh, five yeah. years later. Where'd you guys meet? E-Harmony. Nicole, <laughs> Nicole's gonna have a, hey, I met him at E-Harmony. No, I'm not. That's for you, Dobbin. Mm. That's for burgers. Well, it's not bad meeting over there, that dog. It's not bad, it's just not for me. I could do it. I'll date someone. I don't want to. You don't find my wife over the internet. So don't try it. <laughs> just putting it out there. Yeah, find your husband, you could, Nicole. I know how Nicole is. I know Nicole. And I just know she's just talking right now. No, I I'm not. I, I always said I don't want to meet somebody yeah, yeah, over yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. Whatever! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So when do you think is the right time to start opening up and it's being hard. It's like really, for you you like you would you're more playful when you actually are um, comfortable around somebody. You know? So when do you think you would start doing that? I don't know. Because when I open up, I do a lot. <laughs> you have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> <laughs> belly bop. Belly bop. <laughs> Literally, this that is all the time. So, there. <laughs> so you think you get this smooth Dobbin on camera? What just happened? That happens all the time. So, I'll probably be thinking, I should probably think I'm going crazy. <laughs> Alright, this is a random subject. This is kind of twist off. But no, to answer your question, it was really about um, vibe, you know. It was really, you just got to fill out the vibe, you know. Mm -hmm. If you're getting comfortable around that person, you know. If you feel feel in the air like oh I can belly bump her and she won't judge me, I don't want to belly bump. I'm like okay, well, listen. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work out. <laughs> I'm just letting you guys know I like to belly bump. So my future wife, <laughs> I'm a belly bumper. I'll come up, and I don't want. I'm not trying to hit your belly. I'll just come up to you and just bump you on my belly. You know, I don't need you to belly. I don't need you to reciprocate it. <laughs> I just want you to be there and take it. <laughs> They probably think I got issues right now. <laughs> right. Now this is a top. Yeah, yeah, this is, and I know Nicole's like, oh no, I already know how Nicole's gonna go crazy. And a lot of people are gonna go crazy over mm -hmm. this too. What, uh, what's the youngest you can go to? For dating? Nothing lower than what my age is now. Why is that? Because boys are immature already, and I'm not trying to have no little kid. What? Not I'm not trying to, trying to have a baby. All right, but if you're, all right, let's say, okay, let's say if you're 30, would you date a 25 year old? I don't know. Because he's young, strapping. Yeah, but 30's not that old. I know, it's just five year difference. When, when is it, what, what age difference is this like, oh wow. I feel like, okay, so let me ask you this. It's like seven year difference, like, a, oh wow, you're robbing the cradle. Let's say they're both legal. But a seven year difference, like, oh wow, you're going crazy. Okay, listen, this is what I have to say. For now, like, I'm 25. I wouldn't date someone lower than my age. But possibly when I get to 30, I might date, yeah, maybe a 25 or 27, something like that. So I don't know, probably like five years. So I think five is like the at max. At 25, could you date a 35 year old? Yeah, you can always go higher, but not saying, lower. But do you think the, do you think you will look at him weird, the thirty five year old? Who cares? I'm not worried about him. I'm just worried about myself. I know, but all right. So would you think a, 30, a twenty five year old at thirty five? Would I date a twenty five year old at, at thirty five? Mm -hmm. No, I think that's pushing it. So ten years is like a you're robbing a cradle. For me, I yes. think ten years is acting. But all right. So what about? Six, seven years. 
Do, what's the, do you know the age difference between your mom and, and, and bro? Um, yeah, it's like, it's quite a few years. Six. I don't know exactly how I many. think my parents are, I really don't, I think my parents are like five plus years. I don't know my mom's age or my dad's age. I know it's bad. I, don't know. It's I think bad. it's like eight years. Eight year difference? Yeah. See, I think it's okay once you get older. See, when I'm saying older, even for like, let's say me, Dana, well, people look at it kind of weird low key, but especially, especially if your life is private and you don't do social media, then it's really not that big of a deal too. But like, let's say if me thinking 35 year old, 25, I mean 26 Dana, 36 year old, it's like, okay, it's not that bad. But now let's say I'm 26, I'm 26 and I date a 19 year old. Yeah, that's bad. No, that looks bad. It looks bad. I mean, it can happen, but it looks, it just doesn't look right. Because it's just, I feel like it's just, they're too fresh into, to, adult, yeah. I mean, being an adult. So then that's when it looks bad. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Me personally, well, listen, you said you couldn't go no younger. At my age now. No. Me personally, I don't discriminate. Really? I don't discriminate. Hell yeah. I, well, the thing is, it's hard. If someone is younger, I probably couldn't take you serious. Okay. I really couldn't take you serious because I just know, you know, you're young. You're you're 20 years old. If you, uh, especially even if you just turn 21, it's just like you still got a life to live. You, you still got to go through your stages. You got to go through your little stages. Some people say because I think we talked about that stages. Some people say I never had to say that. I don't say that. Okay. Um. Okay, but so everybody got to go through stages. But I just feel like not everybody. And that and this is once again when I say a thing, this is not how every person in the United States. <laughs> America is. They swear that I, every person in the United States of America is this way. I just feel, you know, not everybody is ready for a long, at my age, I'm ready for something more. I'm ready for commitment, not ready for just, you know, fun. Well, Games. I'm always down for fun, you know, but. Games. Yeah. Immaturity. Yeah. So. Is that even a word? I don't know. But the thing is, is I just know that, you know, at that age, you know, you're not looking at us for nothing that's serious. So don't play that role like you are. Mm -hmm. So if you're 20 something, don't play a role like, oh yeah, I want to be together. Uh, like but I feel like that's the type of girls, that's what they're doing at now. What? The younger ones. What trying time? to play that role and be mm -hmm. older. Like, do you realize what a 12 year old looks like now compared to how I looked when I was 12? Oh no, yeah, girls are looking, and guys too. Uh -huh. I be seeing uh, middle schoolers taller, buff, and I'm like, what do you do? You did you see my cousin? Uh-uh. Ooh. Chase. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like. I knew he was going to be, I knew he was going to be an uh, athlete, though, when I saw him back then when he was a little, mm -hmm. little kid, though. I knew he was going to be an athlete. Oh, you want to know, I t there's this guy that's random, too. Tyler Hero. He was on the Miami Heat team. He's the youngest uh, NBA player to be in the uh, finals. Mm -hmm. This is his rookie year, first year in the NBA. He grew up in Greenfield, uh, Greenfield, Wisconsin. Really? Yep. And he went to Whitman High School. He just graduated. So, cause, so, cause I was watching how how he spent his first meal, and uh, he just uh, he just went to college in 2018. So he's at Whitman High School in 2017, 16, 15. So, I'll, but thing is, he said he grew up in Greenfield. I'm like, oh, so you didn't go to Greenfield High? At first, I'm thinking, was I in school? Well, I probably wasn't in school with him because Zayna probably might have been. Cause he's uh. Uh, he's probably like, tw he's 20 right now, he's not, he is 20, so I'm 26, I wasn't in school with him, but I was thinking like, if he wouldn't went to Greenfield High School, I probably could have probably passed it, well, possibly passed it, like, wow, we went to South Ridge right. together, because the, it was like a GQ interview saying, how, how'd, you, how'd you spend your first million? He's like, yeah, I bought my mom a Gucci purse, I bought a, and he's like, uh, and he bought his mom a Gucci purse and a, and a Porsche, wow. 2020 Porsche, he bought himself a 2020 Jeep, and a uh, Jeep is the way to go. I love. He Jeeps. bought himself uh, a 2020 Benz S Class. Mm, and then he, he has some good taste. And then he bought himself an eighty. He took himself on an eighty-five thousand dollars shopping spree for pure clothes. Eighty-five thousand dollars. And his favorite, he said, his favorite brand was like when he was in high school and stuff mm -hmm. was Amber Cobby. No, Paxson. Really? Love Paxson. That's uh, funny. The reason why this is so interesting to us because it grew. He was like yeah. in our city. Yeah. No, but my question is, if he lived in Greenfield, why didn't he go to Greenfield That's High I'm, School? That's what I'm lost about. So he said, he said, yeah, I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I grew up in a city named Greenfield. I went to Greenfield High School. And he said, I grew up in the outskirts of Milwaukee, living in Greenfield. Hmm. 
But because Whitman was like all the way up there in like Hill's Corners. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But uh, what else is there? And then he said, uh, he said, what else he said he spent this first mail on? $85,000. And he's like, yeah, my favorite before I was, before I made money was Paxson. And he's like, now his favorite is Dior. I'm mm. like, this guy, he's just living a lifestyle. He's having a ball right nice. now. Nice. His name is Tyler Hero. I wanted to show you the video until I wanted to watch That name it. sounds so familiar. Tyler. Well, it's, it, it, it's Hero. It's like H-E-R-R-O, but they say hero, like, mm. cause you're, cause he, you know, uh -huh. everybody needs a nickname. I'm a hero. Tyler the hero, I'm coming to say it today. That name sounds very familiar. But yeah, he went to, he just graduated with high school in 2017. So I'm like, wow. I asked my cousin. And, say, and I know when he said he went to Paxson, I know he had to be shopping at Stockbridge Mall, oh, obviously. Yeah. Because so, I don't know, I never really shopped enough at Mayfair cause my mom never wanted to go to the It was to just nice mall. to see someone like from Greenfield, like, Making it, making it, you know? That's crazy. But I shout out to you, Tyler Hero. He probably never see this in his life. <laughs> but yeah, he plays for Miami Heat and they just lost uh, the finals to the Lakers. Oh, so he was just playing? Yeah. He was oh. in the finals. That's what I'm saying. I don't know why when you first said all of this, I was thinking of football. Football popped to my head mm -hmm. right away. It was in Miami Heat. Mm -hmm. He was the youngest, youngest rookie ever, youngest player, NBA player to ever play in an NBA championship. Yeah, I showed me a picture. I wanted to show you the video. Okay. All right, so once again, we're totally <laughs> off topic. But yeah, um, no, yeah, I, me, I don't discriminate. I can mess with younger, and I just would, if I talk to younger, I'll have to take it. I'll be very cautious and see what your motive's in. But uh, when it comes to just kicking it, having a good time, I definitely can have a good time. Not a long time, you yeah. know? Nicole, you would too. I'm not trying to hear it. I don't want to hear the Nicole watch. I act prissy and bougie. I don't know. I can never associate with your kind. But she definitely will have a have a ball with a 20 year old, 21 year old, 22 year old. Would you not? I'm not saying anything. <laughs> but but uh, I don't know. I feel like I, I remember all throughout high school, girls always wanting older guys, and I'm just thinking like, why do girls want all these older guys? Like, why do they always want to? But of course, you know, I understand why. Because you guys think, oh, well, he has this and he has that. Girl, girls is always, well, not always, <laughs> but it's material for real, I really think. It's really not about maturity. I think it's just because, you know, if, if, it's, a, if it's an independent guy, girls are attracted to that, which is understandable. I definitely 100% agree with that. You know, like I agree with girls not want, I understand a girl not wanting a broke man, you know, yeah. obviously. Fun fact, um, I always thought guys with like a little bit of gray mixed with their original yeah, hair. Nicole like Santa Claus. Was really cute. So Nicole likes Santa Claus. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Any guy in any guy in his forties has a shot with Nicole. No. Uh, don't yeah. say that because any, they're gonna try it. Any guy in their forties has a shot with Nicole. Like, you know, I know Devin doesn't know this video this movie because I asked him a million times. Pretty woman. I don't know that one. The guy, I'm Pretty Woman, in the movie, I always thought, like, wow, he was a good looking guy. Mm. Are you jealous? I'm not jealous <laughs> at all. Just... Mm. Okay, well, I know you said uh, Nia Long. Who else did you, like, <clears throat> watching a movie, you were like, well, oh. Well, let me, uh, <clears throat> I'm back. I'm hot drink, drink some here. I'm good. But, um, so now this is another thing before we get into that, though. This is another thing I wanted to mention, though. Me dating older, I love talking to older and messing with older because they obviously for the same, they're more mature, they're more advanced, they know what they want, how they want it, and they're more chilled out. I love talking to older, but I don't think I can ever date older though. I can date younger, I just don't think I can date older. Well, it depends on how old though. Mm -hmm. Three, four years, no. But like if a 36, 37 year old wanted to take something serious with me, I don't think I could because no. I just know. And this is sounds so, uh, what is it? The word I'm looking for. I, um, I, wanna, I think so, I know what you're saying, but I'm not going to say it out loud because I'm going to get... Sounds, uh, it sounds so bad, but you know, it's just me. the fact of, I just know like when we grow old, grow yeah. older, it's just going to be, I don't know if it's going to be there anymore. I know you got this but, is yeah. this is what no I'm just saying like physically you know but if you're truly <laughs> in love it doesn't matter which I do truly know 
But I don't think I'll have a chance to fall in love, you know. But if I do fall in love, that'll be great. I would love to. I wish you could. I wish there could just be signs. This is your future husband. This is your future wife. You know, people are probably saying there's a sign. There's a sign right now. It involves uh, neon letters. <laughs> See, we got the editor. I would have, <laughs> have editor put a whole bunch of arrows <laughs> and all lined up in neon. <laughs> That's funny. I, need to, I just need to stop thinking about what the, what the yeah. Because I know, I just know what the typing sounds like right now. Like, click, 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 click. But for famous people, there are so many people that can get it. Lauren London, is that her She's name? fine. Mm -hmm. She is so pretty. So pretty. That was Nipsey's ex. Mm -hmm. Not ex, he, he passed away. Yeah. So like widow. widow. Oh yeah, you're right. Uh, yeah, you're right. My bad. Um, there are some of the beautiful women out there that are famous. So and you know I feel like uh, being famous, like famous, famous. You're making millions. Not I don't think famous. famous people should even get in relationships because they're all cheaters. Not all cheaters. What do you mean? Ding, who, ding, 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 ding. who all cheaters? Mm. Oh the. You think famous wealthy, people? Wealthy people. All cheat? Not that they all cheat. Not all of them do. I'm just saying. You think? They got something on the side. You know they do. Why? All right, so could you marry a very wealthy man? Wealthy man. Not for obviously for his wealth, but like let's say if you fell in love with him, you fell in love with a guy and he is a multimillionaire. I don't know can if you, I would trust him. Can you trust being his wife? I don't know. Well, if I fell in love with a multi-millionaire woman, I, listen, I trust you. Just, just make me feel good. I don't mm -hmm. want to be. I want to feel good about my Versace. Yeah, I ain't. No, I'm not a gold digger. I hate gold diggers. But um, I don't hate them. Sorry, I hate strong <laughs> <laughs> Um, But, uh, no, yeah, definitely uh, just like gold diggers. But no, when... when uh, like I said, for the topic of when women say they want a man that makes money, it's very understandable. But at the end of the day, I want a woman that's independent and can hustle. See, I want a woman that's very independent, but I can spoil her. You know, mm -hmm. like I want a woman that's 100% can be independent, get her on her, get her on her own. But I want to let her know, like, hey, you don't have to do this. Let me take care of you. That's just me, though. But I'm not no trick. I'm not no simp. I'm not of that. Nicole knows I'm the farthest from that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, we're gonna end this off. Nicole, we're gonna find you at. On YouTube and Instagram, it's Nicole, of course, on Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook. It's Nicole, of course, with two E's at the end. Don't. I'm not playing with you, Devin. <laughs> Alright, make sure you guys go follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. All is at each other. Check that Z A D D Y. C H U and K. C H U and K. We're all over this video with topics, so I don't know what to name this video, but Z, C, C, family, as, as we, we all know, know the, the grind, grind never stops. stops. Until, Until the ZCC -C 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 game is on top. top. Let's get it! Uh, it's showtime, the whole place hopping. Stay rocking, this for those who stay watching. For when my tape dropping, long as the bass knocking, I stay popping. I'm trying to run this shit forever like I'm Bay watching.